And here we go with News Roundup number 143. Hoping you're all well and fit and enjoying your weekend. As someone who remembers when they were the only option available, it is interesting to read a Daily Mail article which says that vinyl records are enjoying a revival. Apparently, last year saw more than one million albums sold on vinyl for the first time in almost two decades, after seven years of steady growth, and sales are expected to hit two million this year. And now the UK's first official weekly vinyl chart has been announced, with the top spots in the album rankings and the two top places in the singles list going to Noel Gallagher. Whilst on the subject of sound, the Daily Mirror tells us the popularity of the smartphone is leading to a decline in whistling. A survey showed that nearly three quarters of people believe there are fewer whistlers now compared to 20 or 30 years ago, and some of those questioned reckoned that whistling had been replaced by staring at smartphones or listening to music through headphones. John Lucas, co-author of A Brief History of Whistling, said The sound of workers whistling as they went to and from the factory or the coal mine used to be common. Miners, for example, had whistling choirs on the buses that took them to and from work. Errand lads, delivery boys on their bicycles and the coalmen, they're not there any more. Another change in society's habits is commented on in The Independent, which says that British drinkers are now keener on Prosecco than champagne in supermarkets. The paper quotes Alfonso Civola, an author and Italian wine expert, as saying, Prosecco seems easier than champagne. Champagne has built up its reputation as a luxury product, while Prosecco is really a wine for all people. Champagne has, of course, also built up its reputation as very expensive. There are some very disgruntled runners in Dorset, according to The Guardian. It seems that competitors taking part in the 10km Bournemouth Bay race ended up doing an extra 3 kilometres. A spokesman for Bournemouth Council, which organised the event, said, This year saw new routes and overall the changes were well received. However, unfortunately there was some confusion with marshalling arrangements at one point which led to some of the fastest 10k runners doing going a longer distance. I'm sorry, I don't blame them for being disgruntled. Fancy a deck chair from the Titanic? Well, the Daily Mail reports that it could cost you £80,000. The chair, which was on the first class promenade, promenade deck when the liner sank after hitting an iceberg on its maiden voyage in 1912 is being sold at Devizes in Wiltshire. It was found bobbing on the surface of the Atlantic by the crew of the Mackay Bennett who were sent to recover the bodies of the victims after the tragedy. Andrew Aldridge of auctioneers Henry Aldridge and Son said it is incredibly rare to find something of that size that was on the Titanic was salvaged and that still exists today. The Daily Mirror salutes 34-year-old barman Kevin Carr who they describe as the fastest man to run around the world. Kevin, who started off from Dartmoor in Devon, completed his 16,300-mile run in 620.